Hi guys, welcome on board for another video. I'm just cruising back to Elstree from Oxford, where we've had our 5.30 refitted. Um, it was a way for uh, just normal repairs. And I thought it might be, wobble, might be an idea just to have a quick chat about our traffic system or our TCAD system. So our TCAD is this system down here. It's a Ryan TCAD. Uh, the TCAD system works on secondary radar. So our transponder down there, that's our transponder, is a secondary radar system. The way that works, find a straight line. A primary radar system has an emitter and a receiver. Typically the sort of uh, dishes you see turning around at airports and on boats and things. And the way they work, they emit a radio wave, and when that radio wave hits something, it gets reflected back to the dish, and the software in the system can then work out where that object is. Secondary radar, using transponders, works by sending out its own data when it gets hit by a primary or an appropriate transponder. Basically, it sends out a shout and says, this is me and this is what I'm doing. So originally, transponders could only put out their squawk code, that four-figure code that's there. So when a guy with a radar screen would look at it, when the blip would go around, every time his radar hit it, he'd get the blip, and he'd also get the code. Then as transponders got more advanced, they started putting out more information, such as their altitude, and now with Mode S, they can put out their GPS position, their heading, their speed, and all the rest of it. So the way the TCAD works, it picks up these reply signals from transponders and it has a series of antennas all around the aircraft. So it can locate the position of the aircraft based on its antennas and it can also interpret the data coming from the transponder. And it's displayed on our 530. So you can see there, there are three contacts. There's one 500 feet below, two miles in front of us. And if we look out the window, it should be over, yep, there it is, just fly, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but it's just the left of the hills, it's a helicopter going right left. And the other ones we've got, we've got one about three miles, 100 feet above, that'll be over near Bobbington somewhere. Now, the difference between TCAD and TCAS is in the way the system uh, picks up the data. So a TCAS system that you would get in an airliner, that transponder sends out requests for information. So it sends out like a ping, which, and all the transponders that then pick up that ping will then reply. A TCAD system is only a passive system. It doesn't pick up, or sorry, it doesn't ask other transponders for their information. So what we're doing is we're relying on primary radar and TCAS transponders to ping other transponders for us then to pick up. Um, and if there's none of those primary radars or suitable transponders around, then we can't pick up anything. Which sounds like a bit of a disadvantage, but where you're flying where it's busy, so in my case around London, there are so many radar heads and so many TCAS systems that pretty much every transponder out there is constantly pinging its data out. Hence why we're picking up all our various different contacts. If you're flying out in the middle of nowhere, um, it might be a bit different, um, but then in theory, if you're flying out in the middle of nowhere, there's not going to be hundreds of other aircraft all over the place at the same time. Another quick look. So the, the minus 600, that's the helicopter that's now well off to our sort of 8 o'clock. And the one we're keeping an eye on is the one directly in front of us, same level, zero zero. And what should happen, I won't deliberately fly at another aircraft, but if it gets to within um, that two mile ring, bit bumpy, and the aircraft still considers it to be a threat, we'll then get an audio warning of traffic. And we can also, we can scroll in and out, see there's a load more traffic. That's probably all the stuff at Elstree, probably joining overhead, keep zooming out. And if you get really busy, you can zoom right into two miles, which is what I normally do for something like Cheltenham when you've got loads of aircraft all coming in. So that's how our TCAT system works. The control panel for that it's just this little bit down here where we can set pressure settings, etc. And if we change this pressure setting here, so on top right hand corner of the display is the barrow pressure setting. If I change it on here, I put in something erroneous. That one there will change. There we go. 
we always try and have this one the same as the actual so it's giving us the position of those aircraft in relation to where we are there we are, that's just a quick look at our TCAD system and how it works. It's a really, really useful bit of kit to have when flying around London because there are so many small aeroplanes and helicopters flying about. As you can see now, we've now got three contacts, one within two miles, two, and there you go. But that one's just gone yellow and you might be able to see it off to the right. Aeroplane going left to right, same level. The other one, the one that's at 12 o'clock, I don't know if you can see that, but that is bang on the nose. So I think what we're actually going to do is come down a little bit. There he goes. So those are pinging up yellow, and they're also getting audio warnings. And you can see, on a Friday afternoon, the weather's nice, just how important having a system like that on board is. There are lots of... Oh, another one over there. Oh, that would be the other one. That was yellow plus three. That one over there. There are lots of different systems out there. There are ones that come with their own receivers and sort of plug into iPads and all sorts of things. Um, but from the limited experience of those kind of systems that I've had, um, give me this one any day of the week. There you go. Short little video. How our traffic system works. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, and until next time, see you later.